library friends, I'm Miss Vivian and welcome to Storytime. For today's program, I have stories about chalk and mixing colors. Before I share the stories, let's start with our morning song. First, find your feet way down there. Next, find your shoulders. Find your arms and find your head right at the top. All right, let's begin. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet, and we'll stop, stop, stop. Wake up feet, wake up feet, wake up feet in the morning. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, and we'll pat, pat, pat. Wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders, wake up shoulders in the morning. Wake up arms, wake up arms, wake up arms and we'll shake, shake, shake. Wake up arms, wake up arms, wake up arms in the morning. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head and we'll pat, pat, pat. Wake up head, wake up head, wake up head in the morning. Very good library friends. Now let's sing head, shoulders, knees and toes. We'll sing this song two times. Let's begin. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Way down there. Head, Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, a mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears, a mouth and nose. Head, Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Very good library friends. Now on to our first story. With permission from Macmillan Publishers, I am very happy to share with you the case of the missing chalk drawings written and illustrated by Richard Byrne. What would you do if something went missing? Let's find out what these characters are going to do. The Case of the Missing Chalk Drawings. And this story is dedicated to Ben and Ollie. The Chalks were having fun drawing when Mrs. Red called them in for lunch! Lunch! But when the Chalks came back from lunch, they were surprised to find all the flowers are gone! What happened to them, library friends? Oh, they are all so surprised. The flowers are all gone. The chalk started a new drawing, but this time Mrs. Red also made a big red fence. That should keep the flowers safe while we go in for a story, she said. How do you like the flowers? Do you see all the different colors? But it didn't. After story time, the flowers were gone and so was the fence. Someone is stealing our drawings. What is going on? 
Sergeant Blue arrived to investigate and quickly noted some important evidence. What did he find? The culprit is this tall and very dusty. Sergeant Blue rounded up some suspicious looking characters. Too thin, too small, too pointy, too tall, too hairy. Hmm, please turn around. He's got a dusty red bottom. What do you think, library friends? Do you think this eraser did it? Let's find out. Case closed. But before Sergeant Blue could put the culprit in prison, the robber fled in the cloud of dust. The chalks chased the robber, but they could not catch him. The chalks were stumped. Fortunately, Sergeant Blue had a plan. When the robber came upon a new drawing, he couldn't resist. Rainbow, here I come. Do you like the Rainbow Library, friends? Isn't it beautiful? And the eraser thinks it's beautiful too. But what will it do? The chalk suddenly leaped out from their hiding places. Robert caught you! <gasps> the chalkboard eraser felt wrongly accused. I'm not a robber. I'm an eraser. You draw stuff and I erase it. Then you can draw more stuff. The chalks felt very guilty. They had made a terrible mistake. Sergeant Blue knew how to make things right. They should all chase the eraser again. Sounds like they're going to work together. But this time, whoop, just for fun. Will the eraser make it to the finish line? <laughs> Looks like they all won. And that's the end of the case of the missing chalk drawings written and illustrated by Richard Byrne. Thank you, library friends. Will you name some colors with me? Children, children, what do you see? I see the color blue looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see the color yellow looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see the color red looking at me. Very good, library friends. And these, how many primary colors do you see? Please count with me. One, two, three. Now bring up three fingers. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Very good. Let's say goodbye to our colors. 
Bye bye colors. Bye bye colors. Bye bye colors. We'll see you next time. Very good, library friends. Now on to our next story. The next story, with permission from Macmillan Publishers, I'm very happy to share with you Mix, a colorful story. Written and illustrated by Ari Chung. Now in this story, of course, you'll see different colors, but what happens when you mix them up? Let's find out. Oh boy, look at all these circles in different colors. If you plan to check this story out, this would be a great counting activity, and you can name the different colors too. Mix, a colorful story. In the beginning, there were three colors. Reds, yellows, and blues. Reds were the loudest. La, 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 la. Yellows were the brightest. And blues were the coolest. Do you like the drawing so far? Everyone lived in color harmony until one afternoon when a red said, Reds are the best. Oh, this one's holding a sign. Number, what number is that? Number one. No! Oh, excuse me. The yellows disagreed. No! We're the best because we're the brightest. The blues were too cool to even respond. The colors decided to live in separate parts of the city. <laughs> and right here at the top, it says Yellow Heights. <laughs> but then one day, a yellow noticed a blue. And something happened. I feel so happy when I'm near you. And I feel so calm when I'm with you. Yellow and blue became inseparable. They always want to stay together. Life felt so vibrant, but not all the colors were happy about it. Colors shouldn't mix. I don't like yellow's effect on blue. That blue isn't bright enough for yellow. But yellow and blue loved each other so much, they decided to M-I-X, mix. Together, they created a new color. They named her green. Green was bright like yellow and calm like blue. But really, she was a color all her own. Everyone was fascinated. She's so cute. I'd never seen anything like her before. Even the grumpy colors fell in love with green. Can I hold her? The colors began to see new possibilities. Soon other colors mixed and mixed. And mixed and mixed. 
There were so many new colors and a lot of new ones. Excuse me. There were so many new colors and a lot of new names. Don't forget your glasses, Lavender. Be careful, Jade. Have fun, Amber. The old neighborhoods of Redville, Blue Town, and Yellow Heights didn't make sense anymore. Everyone wanted to live together, so they rebuilt the city. The new city was full of color. It wasn't perfect, but it was home. How do you like these new colors, library friends? <gasps> and here you can name the new colors and count them too. Count all the different circles. And that's the end of Mix Written and Illustrated by Ari Chung. Mixed a colorful story. Thank you. Now let's mix some colors. Now what happens if we take our blue and our yellow and we mix it up? It turns into the color green. Very good. Now let's take another color. What happens when we take yellow and red and mix them up? It turns into the color orange. Very good. Okay, one more time. What happens when you take the color blue and the color red and mix them all up? It turns into the color purple. Very good, library friends. Will you name the new colors with me? Children, children, what do you see? I see the color green looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see the color orange looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? I see the color purple looking at me. Very good, library friends. And will you count the colors with me? Here we go. One, two, three. Bring your fingers out. One, two, three. Very good. One more time. Stretch the, your fingers out. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good, library friends. Now let's say goodbye to these colors. Bye-bye colors. Bye-bye colors. Bye-bye colors. We'll see you next time. Very good, library friends. Now on to our last story. With permission from Macmillan Publishers, I'm very happy to share with you a piece of chalk written by Jennifer A. Erickson and it's illustrated by Michelle Shapiro. A piece of chalk. Here, the child is going to get some chalk and color and draw something. Let's find out what it's going to be. A piece of chalk. Hmm, looks like the bird is very curious about chalk. Are you curious about chalk? I have a box of chalk, a brand new box, with long, perfect sticks, all smooth and dusty. Here's her box.
The driveway is my chalkboard, a long wide space. Just waiting, waiting for me. I take a piece of chalk, a brick red one. Red is a wall, stretching from side to side. I take a piece of chalk, a lemon yellow one. Yellow is the sun. Shining brightly up above. I take a piece of chalk, a spring green one. Green is the grass sprouting near the wall. I take a piece of chalk, a dirt brown one. Brown are the birds hopping through the grass. I take a piece of chalk, a fiery orange one. Orange is a cat leaping at the birds. I take a piece of chalk, a snowy white one. White is a dog jumping over the wall. I take a piece of chalk, a petal pink one. Pink are the stripes on a little girl's clothes. Hmm, who can this little girl be? I take a piece of chalk, a baby blue one. Blue is the sky and the little girl's eyes. I take a piece of chalk, a stormy gray one. Gray are the clouds and the rain that starts to fall. It splatters the wall. It scatters the birds. It drips on the grass and it drops on me. I stand in the driveway in soggy shirt and shorts. Well, wild colored puddles form where my drawing used to be. I frown for a moment as the colors run together, the colors mix, but then the sun comes out and I feel a smile grow. For I have a box of chalk. I can draw new pictures. I also have two rainbows in the sky and at my feet. Thanks to a piece of chalk. And that's the end of A Piece of Chalk written by Jennifer A. Erickson and illustrated by Michelle Shapiro. Thank you, library friends. Now let's sing two more songs before we end this program. Let's sing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Way down there, stomp, stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Excuse me. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Very good. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, shout hooray! Very good library friends. Thank you for joining me today. If you're interested in more stories about drawing and other stories about art and mixing colors, please visit our website at eglendalelac.org. Our summer reading challenge is still going on and we have summer activity kits available for, to take home. Now these kits are uh, available while supplies last. Some of them are related to um, drawing and using chalk. If you're interested in other activity kits, please visit our website uh, where we're going to have a whole list of what's available. And again, it's while supplies last. If you're interested in other programs for children, all of the information is on our website at eglendalac.org. Thank you again for joining me today and take care.